how they talk now. And it all might be easier to take if they were doing their core jobs effectively. For example, COVID deaths under Joe Biden had dropped. But again, and you can't say it loudly or often enough, deaths have not dropped. COVID deaths have risen. So you've got to wonder how long the population is going to put up with this. Unelected lunatics haranguing the rest of us as they fail at their core jobs. Amen. The White House must be wondering very much the same thing because all of a sudden we have a brand new COVID variant. Oh, of course. This new variant was discovered by the chair of the South African Medical Association, a woman called Andrew Lee Coetzee. Here's how she describes the threat. Looking at the mildness of the symptoms that we are seeing, apparently there is no reason for panicking as we don't see severely ill patients. There's no reason to panic. It's very mild, she tells us. Very mild. That's you not what our government says. Then not only that would be good news for everyone, but at this, in this country, it is cause for even deeper and more profound alarm. Exactly. In the state of New York, the elected governor has just banned all elective surgeries at hospitals because of this new variant. They're just killing now, people, man. Precisely zero confirmed cases of this variant in the state of New York. They are just killing people. Look what they did in New York to all the elderly when they stuck the COVID patients in over. They said 8,000 people died over 16,000. I'll bet it's more than that. And never got prosecuted. Cuomo. Fucking motherfucker. And this guy's a total fucking empty suit. Let's go, Brandon. Just so we face those that have come before Message? Don't listen to the doctors. It's mild. It's not a problem. But that doesn't mean you can even think about relaxing. There is plenty of fear ahead. And you're going to need to listen very, very carefully to Anthony Fauci. Dr. Scott Atlas has seen our COVID policy.